This video was produced by Today is April 26, and we are revealing the winning Jane Addams Children's Book Award titles for 2014. My name is Mary Ann Baker. I'm here at James Madison University, and I am co-chairing this award committee with Ann Carpenter. By design, our diverse committee members reside all across the United States, and they include Julie Olson Edwards, Beth McGowan, Lonnie Gerson, Catherine Bruce, Jackie Collar, Lauren Mayer, Heather Palmer, Mary Napoli, and Susan Fries. They are to be congratulated on a job well done. And it wasn't just that group. We have many adult reading groups and student reading groups and former chairs and committee members reading. And of course, there are the very talented authors and illustrators of these life-changing books that make it all possible. We wish to wholeheartedly thank our executive director, our website manager, and our Peace Education Project Board. The criteria for these awards is as timely today as when the award began to honor the life and work of Jane Addams 61 years ago. A plethora of books are considered, but the winners and honor books invite answers to one or more of the following questions. How can we peaceably settle disputes, but with a special emphasis on diverse makeup and outlook? How can we begin to think more creatively and humanely about injustice and conflict, past or present, real or fictionalized? How can young people participate in creative solutions to the problems of war, social injustice, racism, sexism, homophobia, ageism, and the concerns of the physically challenged? How can people of all races, cultures, nations, and economic systems live peacefully together? Does the book promote an understanding of the role of women in society, gender roles, and the need to overcome gender stereotypes? And the winning book themes may include solving problems courageously and nonviolently, overcoming prejudice, breaking cycles of fear, approaching life with self-confidence and strength, understanding human needs with compassion, broadening outlook to appreciate a variety of cultures, or accepting responsibility for the future of all peoples. Books may be fiction, nonfiction, or poetry, may be of any length. The entry should be suitable for youth ages 2 through 12. Entries should be well written and well illustrated if they are illustrated. And now for the reveal. We have two honor books for younger readers. Razia's Ray of Hope, One Girl's Dream of an Education, written by Elizabeth Soonby and illustrated by Swana Verelst and published by Kids Can Press. This from the book cover. Razia falls asleep at night, dreaming of going to school like her brothers and the other boys in their small village in Afghanistan. When she learns that a girl's school is being built nearby, she becomes filled with hope. All she needs to go is her father's and her oldest brother's permission. Kirkus writes, Purposeful in a positive way, this imaginatively illustrated book should open readers' eyes to issues facing children who live in very different circumstances. And... We Shall Overcome, the story of a song by Debbie Levy and illustrated by Vanessa Brantley Newton and published by Jump at the Sun Press. It only takes a few words to create change, the book cover says, and Booklist says this is an innovative capturing of history through the lens of a song and a passionate affirmation of human rights. The winner for the Jane Addams Children's Book Award for younger readers is Brave Girl, Clara and the Shirtwaist Maker's Strike of 1909, written by Michelle Martell and illustrated by Melissa Sweet and published by Balzer and Bray, an imprint of HarperCollins. When Clara Lemlich arrived in America, she couldn't speak English, and so she learned. She had to work under inhumane conditions in exchange for an education. Clara not only stood up, but never quit nor accepted that girls should be treated poorly and paid little. According to School Library Journal, readers are treated to solid information with a buoyant message about standing up for what is right. We have two honor books for older readers. Seeing Red by Katherine Erskine, published by Scholastic Press. Set in 1972, we meet Red Porter from Stony Gap, Virginia, who's just lost his dad. Red helped his dad in the auto repair shop slash gas station slash convenience store run by the family. 
Upon his father's death, Red learns more about his family and about how much needs fixing in the world. According to Publishers Weekly, National Book Award winner Erskine offers powerful images of discrimination practiced in the South. She frankly explores the difficulty in fighting a corrupt system, but also stresses the difference one individual, even a child, can make, providing hope that justice can prevail. And Brotherhood by A.B. Westrick, published by Viking, an imprint of Penguin Young Readers Group, the Civil War is over in Richmond in 1867, but the conflict still goes on. Meet 14-year-old Shadrach, a tailor in training who wants to learn to read, and his older brother, Jeremiah. Kirkus writes, From the perspective of a curious, compassionate young man caught up in clan violence, this coming-of-age story will spark fruitful discussions about race, identity, social pressure, and loyalty. And the winner... For the Jane Addams Children's Book Award for Older Readers is Sugar by Jewel Parker Rhodes, published by Hachette, an imprint of Little Brown and Company. According to Kirkus, Rhodes exposes the reality of post-Civil War economics when freed slaves vacated plantations, leaving former slave masters with the need for labor, and in this instance, for the harvesting of sugar. Ten-year-old Sugar, strong and spirited, works in the sugarcane fields and wants to know and learn about the Chinese workers who have come to harvest. Not everyone shares Sugar's open intrigue and friendship with the newcomers. Congratulations to all. The ceremony will take place on October 17, 2014 in New York. Please visit our website for more information, www.janeadamspeace.org.